Hey you guys, Clary Berry here, and I want to speak with you a little bit today about kind of my plan for going raw. I'm not going to have a specific meal plan because I want to be very, um, very open with this. And if I'm ready for savory in the morning, I don't want to be telling myself for some unknown reason that I can't have a salad until four o'clock or the evening or even lunch. Um, um, that being said, however, I do have a certain, you know, list of foods that I'm going to be eating that I'm probably going to veer towards throughout the day. You know, wake up and drink my water and I'll do probably lots and lots of oranges and orange juice and things like that. I may even have to get a good juicer or something so that I can do that a little bit more efficiently. Um, but, you know, it's going to be the usual stuff that I always eat because I always eat raw during the day usually dates, bananas, I may do a date, apple, carrot with nuts if I feel like something more substantial like a sun butter or a raw almond butter. Um, and then pomegranate, you know, seasonal stuff, whatever melons or, or you know, peaches, whatever's there. Um, have the celery out and then definitely mango and pineapple and grapes and berries. And some of that stuff is going to be frozen, you know, just it all depends on how much I can get it, you know, where I, how much I can get, where I can get it, and how much I can afford it for. So I'll try to stay organic, but, you know, like pineapple, I think is on the clean 15, not going to worry so much about that, certain things. Um, I've been buying dates because they're just so much more convenient for me to pick up at the store and then um, in a box like that, and, and price is definitely an issue there too. So um, as it gets toward the evening, I'll veer more into the lettuce, cucumber, noodles, cucumbers, oh, I love cucumbers, um, zucchini, noodles, carrot, noodles, peas, might do like a pea soup every once in a while, I'll have the pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds, um, celery again, and dried fruit, bell peppers, things like that, and I'm really focusing on different flavors. I feel like if I, I could eat the same fruits and vegetables or like eat the same salad basically every night if it had a good different flavor every single day. So I haven't worked it out for my alliterations in my days yet, but it's going to be like, there'll be like a Mexican day where I'll do lots of pico probably, guacamole. Um, I'll do like an Alfredo or like a white sauce day, like a ranch day. Keep it all raw, you know, figure out a good dip or a good sauce. So if you have any suggestions of your favorite sauces or whatever, dips, I'm really thinking dips are going to, I just, I don't know, I guess both. <laughs> Curry, mango, like a spicy mango, do like a ginger wasabi, something, you know, Asian flavored, um, Thai peanut, and I realized the Thai, the, this, I say Thai peanut because I'm going to go get spring rolls every once in a while. I'm not, I'm not going to be a hundred percent raw. I'm going to be routinely raw, mostly raw every single day. Weekends, maybe not so much, you know, celebrating holidays, maybe not so much, but I am going to make this a habit and do it every single day. I think that's how I came up with it because I was like lecturing my kids. I'm always lecturing my kids about habits, making it routine and everything like that. Now it's so much easier. You don't even have to think about it at that point. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So lemon pepper stuff. Um, I said pico, maybe even do like a learn to do a pumpkin, like cheesy flavor, nacho type of something, raw foods. Oh, I'm making myself hungry just thinking about all these really delicious foods. Um, and like I said, I am going to have backup plans. If I want to go out to Thai Spice and get myself some spring rolls, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to the health food stores and get, or whatever store I need to and get just the salad bar. Salad bar is going to be like my best friend. Um, and then backups that I may keep at the house are going to be easy kill bread and easy kill tortillas. These are not completely raw, but they are actually heated at lower temperatures than other things. And I really feel that they're beneficial to health overall. So, um, and I, I know that there's going to be times when I'm going to need that backup. I know that in, you know, the middle of winter and being a busy mom, like this is just, I'm, I'm not going to even try to hold myself to any sort of fully raw or 100% thing because it's just, it's not my goal. And I, you know, I know I said I'm going raw, so I like, sorry if I, you know, threw anybody off there or upset anybody that way, but 
I just don't see the point in taking that extra step to purity, to being 100% or even fully raw. You know, I, I realize there's going to be times when I want cooked food and I don't see the point in denying myself those things for a little tiny bit of extra purity. Now, if it starts making me feel bad, I may start to feel differently and I may start to, you know, see that raw foods are even more for me than I ever thought. And I may never, I may go fully raw eventually. I'm never saying, I've learned to never say never with this whole situation. But like I said, I'm going to need, at least during my transition, to have these backup plans and have this fallback plan to say, well, this is better than you know, all the other stuff I used to let myself eat anyways. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be eating a lot of smoothies, a lot of fruit in the daytime, and a lot of basically salads with some seeds and maybe a tiny bit of nuts um, at night. And then I'm going to definitely be able to go back to the um, fruit. I'm just wanting to not rely on the nut butters and stuff so much because I don't want my fats to go up. That's why I want some really good low-fat raw dips to use. And like I said, that's why I'd rather eat a little bit of bread, a little bit of um, something that's going to really fill me up, which is what, which is where you're lacking. When you're trying to go raw, at least when I've tried to go raw in the past, I'm so reliant on carbs that, and I don't, and I'm so avoidant in fat that that was like what always made me gain weight is because I couldn't find the low fat carby food in a savory, you know, in, in with savory flavors. I just couldn't find that for something to eat at night. You know, I, when I eat fruit all day, like I really want savory at the end of the day. And it's like, I need savory, but I need carbs, you know? So Hopefully the salad, I can work that out to get enough, you know, mango dressing on there and get enough carbs in there that way. But like I said, if I have to eat some, some almost raw, you know, bread or something, I'm going to do that before I'm going to overdose on nut butter or something like that or avocado, which is basically the other option. So yeah, that's just kind of how I'm doing it. It's my approach, uh, routinely raw. That's what it's going to be. Um, and I think that's all I pretty much need to tell you. I'm going to let the kids, they're going to be eating a lot of ramen, a lot of rice, a lot of mac and cheese, sausages, things like that, that they can just make waffles and hash browns, cereal, you know, stuff that they love that they're going to be able to make mostly on their own. So I kind of feel bad about bowing out of cooking like a lot of their meals for them, at least for a little while. But hey, they are definitely old enough. So I'm really excited to get this started here in the next couple days. You might notice a video or two after this that are going to come out that is not raw. And again, this is before I'm actually going. I made the plan. I really sat down yesterday and thought about what flavors I think are necessary for like a happy life. Like what do I need? And, you know, making the list. I'm really doing this in a prepared way. Because I do not believe that just jumping into raw, unless you're in the middle of the tropics and it happens to be the easiest thing in the world for you to eat completely raw, um, the rest of us have to really plan it out. And like I said in one of my first videos about going raw this time, I it, it even goes to having to clear out an extra space for all the extra fruit that's going to have to be on my counter. Because I'm not going to get away with just having a little bunch of bananas here and a couple pineapple here. Like I'm going to need to make the space and I'm going to have to pencil in my time, go shopping probably once a week or more instead of once every two weeks, like I used to get away with and things like that. Like I'm, and I had to, I'm thinking about my meal plans. I'm having to research some really good recipes because it's not easy to make a change this big, even though, you know, like I've, I've already been so close, even though I've been half raw already, this is still a big change. So for anybody going through change in their diets right now, I'm with you. Cheers to you. We can do this together. Uh, thank you again for everybody who watches and supports me. It's so great to hear encouraging words. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to like and comment. Let me know how you feel, what you think. I'm always open to constructive criticism and everything like that. So uh, don't forget to eat your fruit and I will talk to you later. Bye.